Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week on Friday, Microsoft rolled out a new insider preview build to the beta channel insiders, build 22635.4300, which was made available with the update KB5044386. Now, if you are interested in what's new uh, in the beta channel, apparently Microsoft says that the all apps, like it currently is in the stable version, is now just all on the start menu. So apparently that's going to be changed to all instead of all apps. Interesting, small little change. And then there's a new simplified Chinese font with 9,753 audiographs supporting Unicode extensions GH and I, according to Microsoft, and apparently included is the highly requested character U plus 30EDD, which is said to be the most complicated Chinese character, as you can see in the image, according to Microsoft, and Microsoft says that it is aware that some applications may not be able to display these new extension characters just yet, so that's a bit of an update uh, to the fonts. And then when it comes to Windows Search and Security, Microsoft says that Windows Search in the beta now runs R filters in the less privileged app containers. So basically what this means at the end of the day is that this model helps to minimize the potential damage that can be caused by a compromised process by limiting its access to sensitive system components and data. So that's basically a security improvement taking place under the hood. And then there are two fixes rolling out which are um, worth mentioning. And they fixed a high-hitting explorer.exe crash. Now explorer.exe is the shell, so that would be start, file explorer, taskbar, and so on. So they fixed this explorer.exe crash impacting insiders while using um, their PC in the last few beta builds. So if you are in the beta channel, that's an important fix. And then for the File Explorer, this is another important fix. They fixed an issue which was causing the items in the navigation pane to become very spread out with unexpected padding between each item for some people in the beta channel. So those are two important fixes rolling out um, for the beta channel insiders. And then we got two known issues because beta is in effect still in preview, so it is um, expected to have a couple of issues. And then we have new clock widgets, countdown and timer. Now, these clock widgets on Friday were in the beta channel. And as I posted earlier today on Monday the 7th, I have noticed have already rolled out to the stable channel. And I'll leave that whole video linked down below and in the end screen. So if you are in stable with the clock app, if you update it to the latest version through the Microsoft Store, you should start seeing the countdown and timer. And as mentioned, that's also available in the beta, made its way already at the start of this week into stable. And that's more or less, guys, what is new for the beta channel uh, for last week with build 22635.4300 with update KB5044386. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.